Howdy cow dudes and cow dads, uh, and welcome back to part 5 of uh, this western build series. Uh, we left off previous episode by completing the hotel, the bar, and I also hired a chef and he is here working. Today the plan was uh, to build uh, a general store, so I have uh, already put down a few foundations here. Um, I've been experimenting a bit with the positions and stuff. The original plan was to have them stand on a straight line, but uh, I I don't want to do that, so I put them in a bit more curved line. And uh, as some attentive viewers already might have noticed, I have put up some turrets. This is because I've had the visitors uh, here. A bunch of gunners came and uh, created a bit of havoc. They were kindly enough to leave us these three power armors though, and uh, since I have a mod that restores power armor frames, I did just that. I also have this guy working in the field. Doing great man, keep up the good work. And uh, in two minutes or something I made this, uh, this uh, guard post, it's like thrown together in a, in a pace. Uh, I'm not at all satisfied with it, but it's like a small experiment. I have um, used uh, Cabin in the Woods mod on this, and uh, since I also want to attract more settlers, I have three, four vacant positions as, as it is. So I also added a, uh, a beacon on the top, and this is powered by this mini fusion reactor, which gives like 60 electricity. I don't know what 60 is it 60 volts, 60 watts, 60 amps. I don't know. 60 power. Well, anyway, let's start building the general store. So I started by adding some stairs, uh, which I later removed, but this is like temporary. Uh, and this wall is from the homemaker uh, mod, brick buildings. And the one on the left is from the same one. <laughs> yeah. uh, also on this I went for the USS Constitution uh, build set. Uh, but I have chosen the green walls for this build. Since green is the color of the general trader. It's, uh, the general store sign is green, so why not have the building green as well? Uh, internal walls, uh, also from the same set, uh, but I want to have a bit brighter color on the walls, uh, some of the walls, so I, I chose this white, uh, with white uh, structure. Also added an extra wall, wall here, so it, it went uh, a bit better along with the other walls. Uh, also, ceiling uh, is from the Snappy House Kits mod. Uh, these are a bit brighter, almost complete white compared to the grey one we used in the hotel. And uh, on this foundation as well. So we have white ceiling and grey floors. Yeah. And of course the trademark of every western house, the tall front wall. So I immediately start looking like some westernish. Uh, on this build, I went for the, the warehouse roofs. And to cover up this gap at the end here, I had to use the, the barn set uh, triangular walls. These snap right in. And uh, as an add-on 
shelter roof or how to call it add-on roof I use the the shack roofs from the also from homemaker from the, the pier shack build set these won't snap where I want them so I had to place them manually and adjust them as uh, as I went snappy house kits pillar I was trying a whole bunch of different pillars or supports for the uh, for supporting this roof and I ended up with these they, they fit the rest of the build really well so I went for that I also tried experimenting with having one in the center here but I discarded discarded that uh, idea rather quickly and uh, I was a bit uh, worried about the integral structure of the build so I added some uh, this is a horizontal log from the Cabin in the Woods mod. And I also added some vertical logs, like a support, also like a support columns. So this, will, this house will at least look very, very solid. Uh, these are not uh, so long, so I had to use... Uh, Two on each side, and uh, of course I spent way too long time to to get this transition zone more or less okay. Uh, it didn't want want it to look like yeah, there was two beams uh, to look all, only as there was one, but not so easy to do. Uh, I was that much. Uh, <laughs> uh, Satisfied with this with the result, so I also added the same uh, structure in the, on the rear wall, on the back wall here as well. Uh, only on this side it shows the, the the square vertical logs, and these are not the same length uh, as the round one, so I had to use two. And also again, this transition zone in the center. I spent way too long trying to <laughs> fix that. I wasn't completely satisfied with the internal layout of the shop, so I added one more wall here. And I was a bit tired of uh, uh, working in the dark, so I uh, also added a power pylon, uh, and some uh, conduits and drag cable to the, to the build. shows the simplest kind of lighting uh, just a simple light bulb then it was time for decorating I used the same kind of counter at the back wall here along with a, a bureau uh, same kind as I was uh, using in the hotel only this is shorter and uh, I turned it the other way also added some shelf from the do-it-yourself mod and filled everything with clutter Great variety of clutter. I added some extra drawers in the bureau and filled the rest with the clutter. And of course, top shelf, there shall be the booze. I added uh, a cart here in the corner and uh, added a cardboard box on top of it. Uh, of course, you need a clock, and I also added some curtains towards the accommodation area. In the lack of other things to hang up, I chose this uh, gigantic world map and uh, some patriotic poster, and I also found this trade and pawn sign, which uh, fit very well to the front wall. Also hang up a notice board and in that case the clock had to go so I knew that here I added some 
barrels. And the bicycle poster. And the reward poster. When it comes to shop counters, I have great selection uh, under the uh, under the store's uh, trader perk. But I kind of think they are way too modern or new. So I was looking at these uh, these counters. Uh, one is rather tall and very narrow. And the, <laughs> the other one is very low and wider, of course. So I, I decided I should... I shall try to combine these two in some way. So just threw down three of these uh, tall units. And I also uh, choose these lower ones, but I raised them uh, to be at the same level as the, as the, the first counters. so easy to get this perfect, but how perfect does it have to be? Now this looks like they are hanging from the air, so with uh, since gravity is an uh, issue we have to address, I also put uh, some crates under supporting this uh, is low cabinets. Continue adding more crates around the shop. Make a big mess of everything. Ah, not a big mess, but... This is a bottle crate. And even more crates. Since I'm not sure if I will keep the electricity in these houses, um, I also added some candles just in case we, we remove electricity. found these wall lights also with candles. Outside I added a bench and uh, in place down some chairs inside. And even one outside. Of course, the shopkeeper should rest his feet. He also needs a chair. When I was done, I thought was maybe something missing here, so I tried to apply a column at the end of the of the counter, and uh, I think it's uh, yeah worked out just fine. I think. This is 
as the vanilla set and also we have these uh, shack supports so I tried to assemble a couple of these as well and uh, kind of uh, liked the results so I let, so I let them stay. Some general signs from the um, thematic and practical uh, mod. So hang one up in here under the crossbeams. And I found a more correct stairs or more suitable stairs. And uh, I want to use the railing from the uh, Cabin in the wood Woods mod. This is from the Dragon's Cabin set. They fit uh, more or less. I wasn't completely satisfied with this uh, with the corner here, where we also have the, the roof support. I think you know, it was a bit too much, so I tried to melt the railing into the the roof support. Make it a bit more neat and tidy. And I think it works works out fine. It looks a whole lot better than it was, I think. Yeah, and when uh, it came to the accommodation area in the, in the back, I was completely blank so I just throw in uh, the basic necessities and left it uh, like that more or less nothing nothing more to it yeah so that's it for now feel free to hit the like button or subscribe if you want uh, I hope you can join me again in the next episode where we continue expanding our western town until then, take care and play nice. Rico Sight out.